you think about Leica, you think about how expensive it is. Even if you think about buying a film Leica, like the M6, the prices are quite high for an almost 40 years old film camera. And anyway, you need to buy a good lens to go with it. I've always loved rangefinder film cameras. One of my favorites is this Yashica Electro 35 together with Olympus 35RD, Canonet and Minolta Highmatic. These are all rangefinder film cameras with a fixed lens, usually a fast aperture lens of 1.7. Recently, I got the occasion to buy one of my favorite cameras in the world. I started falling in love with this camera when I was searching some nice film rangefinders to go shoot with and the camera is the Minolta CLE. As some of you know, in the 70s Leica contacted Minolta and they asked them to do the electronic part of the, their new camera that was the Leica CL. Some years after, Minolta, do, given the expertise they got from doing the Leica CL came out with this camera, the Minolta CLE. CLE means Compact Leica Electronics. This is a film rangefinder camera. And compared to the Leica one, this is more advanced because it has an auto mode for the shutter speed. You select your ISO, you select your aperture and the camera decides the shutter speed. The good thing about this camera and the reason why for someone is called the cheapest Leica you can get is because this is completely a replica of the Leica CL, it can take Leica M lenses. With the camera, Minolta made also three lenses, the M Rocker 40mm, the M Rocker 28mm and the Rocker 90mm. They are all three with the same bayonet, the Leica M bayonet. And I can tell you, not because I tested all of them, but because people are speaking a lot about this online, the Rocker versions are as good as the Leica version of the lenses. So this Rocker 40mm is as good as the Summicron 40mm f2 of Leica. If you take a look at this, you cannot. The XE line of Fuji is practically in the X Pro line. They are practically inspired by the Mominolta CLE and all the cameras that came out with this form factor in the 70s and 80s. One thing that is very good with this camera is but they are cheap cheap batteries that you can find in any store or on, or, or on Amazon. So you need to struggle and search for some strange batteries that are no longer available. The other good good thing about this camera is the viewfinder. It's huge. Is totally huge. C 
since it's not going through the lens, but it's, it's just standing there, of course. What you see here is not what you will get from the lens, but on SLR, what you see is coming right from the lens. But all the vintage cameras that I have have a very, very not bright viewfinder. So it's very difficult to manual focus with this one. It's pretty awesome. <laughs>